Welcome back to Dead Last Gaming. At this time, we will be starting a game that I, one of my favorites, possibly all time, if not easily top 10. That would be. If I can get my thing going here. Whoop! Skies of Arcadia Legends! That's right. <clears throat> the old GameCube game. I don't know why, I just felt it necessary for me to stream this, see how all this goes. New game! I will definitely, uh, see how long this is gonna take. This might be a long one, so buckle in! That's right, everyone get excited. There may be, there's, there, there's a not zero chance of some off-camera grinding for this game, but that's fine. Oh, that's the airship. Got it. I have installed the high res texture pack on here. That should make it look a little bit crisper, a little bit more high res, HD style. Oh, it's Alfonso. Uh, I'll have to move myself and shrink it down. Let's see here. Oh no, I'm shrinking! Ah! That's better. I mean, in a narrative-based game, you kind of need to be able to, I don't know, read that thing. Down a tad. Checking for surrounding noises. Checking aboard our ship. Perfect. This was in an era. What was that explosion? Someone's attacking us. Huh? Who would dare attack a vessel of the Imperial Armada? Indeed, I wonder. Air pirates. Gar, time to steal me some whatever. Of course I know, that's why I attacked your ship. You guys have the best stuff. I'll be relieving you of your valuables. Now let's have all the fun. Hey. And we're robbing you. So, one of the interesting things about this game is that... In order to gain... Magic... 
certain spells, which we don't have right now, but you have to earn experience by equipping certain colors of weapon. Right now, you've only got green and red, which was funny because Vice's sword was blue in that cutscene, but I think from that point forward, it actually is either a neutral color or it actually remembers what color you left it. So now, our poison. And as you build up points, yeah. on that bar, you can either cast spells or use special move. I think it doesn't have one yet, but the vice has one at seven and at six. Whack. Needless to say, Some limited voice acting, not completely voice voiceover yet. As you can see, you gain a bunch of different colors later on in the game as you get the different stones. And there's all the other ones. Dad! Captain, not dead. Got it. Hi, right, Captain. See, here we have blue in the cutscene again. Let's go. So this is very limited. Usually, just expressions of things, but this game would have done really well with the sacred crystal item you can use to. Heal if I remember correctly. Open the door! Be on the lookout for treasure. Alfonso again. I need to be all uppity because air pirates are on the ship. Says that enough times that you're probably right. says that enough times that you encounter him throughout the game that actually is required. But... All right, you. Uh, uh, So, each character has like long distance and short distance attacks, and they are better or worse depending on how apt that seems. Right, it gets better long range, vice is better short range. Unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do to control the battlefield in terms of who's running around and doing what where, but... Break up! Zachary! The green spell for healing! Hey, look at that. That treasure. In a random battle. Yeah. Okay. Take this. Hang. Thought I'd be far enough away from that one for her to actually use her. 
Sometimes characters can't counter. box. Crystals, of course, being the one you sign them of a spell. Okay, around here for both. We'll go around and get that. It's a treasure. I am a pirate after all. I have to see the treasure. Yar. Wow, um... So I was reading through this. So I do own this game, but I am having to emulate it. Okay. Because uh, just because I do not have a capture card or a I still have my Wii. I still have my GameCube for that matter. Just no easy way to capture it. Capture it. So, this game starts off pretty good, like a standard turn-based RPG with some, you know, unique elements. You learn spells based off of what your color weapon you have equipped. I can get another one. I mean, you're abandoning your ship and all the people on your ship. Hi, pirates. Can I have it? And you do run into a fair number of twists in this game. even had enough turns yet to do a special attack. There's, sometimes you'll counter, and sometimes you even get special attacks that lets you counter. Mm. Does she know Pyre? No, she doesn't. She's going to sack me right now. The cool thing is, you can equip everybody with the same color, and it boosts all the gains in one. Or you can equip people with different, and every, you get a smaller amount of points split evenly across the different colors of weapon types. Right now, of course, I've only got greed and red, indicating fire and greed life. Healing, poison maybe, Take right, this. nature. <clears throat> yeah. Eventually we get blue, purple, yellow, and silver in addition. Droplet. And there's our safety safe point. Save it to all of our virtual art. And let's see. Was one MP. Spells cost not only action points, but MP, so you can't just spam. Oh, can't get through that door, can I? Mm, let's just let's go the other way. Do not like. Constantly spamming. Spamming spells. Although, later on, it is entirely possible to do that with some characters, because they're just like... 
that's all they do is they're just magic folk. He's just gonna jump out. Oh, that's right. He's got his little escape ship right there. Dispose of a traitor. What are you doing? A scuzz ball, but he's set up to be a scuzz ball. I'm not gonna narrate, no one wants to hear me narrate this game. Although it would be cool if there was like actual character voices in narration. What is that thing? It's a critter. A war beast. And now we have our first box fight. Sorry. I had to come back. I had to take a quick moment to check on the thing. Yeah. Right. Is yellow. You have a Sacri, but no Pyrie. Change her to see if she does more damage. Of course, and she runs in to try and hit him. Doesn't help any. Good advice. Here go. Twenty-nine. All right. Time for our first special attack. So, one of the cool things about this game is that in fights and in boss fights, if you are, there's a neutral, like a good and a doing bad. So if you take too much damage, the song changes to like this negative, like dun dun dun, you know, ominous. But if you suddenly change it from have a neutral to kicking ass, it kicks up this heroic tune. It, a very kind of nice little touch. Um... 
Yeah, better just in case we get a thunder. Now, as you find out, each moon has a different color, and you need a moonstone to align to your weapon that makes it learn teach different magic spells. <clears throat> So it's a line attack. And positioning is important in this game because positioning determines entirely, like, some special moves are like a cone, a line. All out of that one. Really? I'm just gonna keep doing Thunders of Fury, huh? Alright. Yep, let's do two. Oop, we're getting close! Whack! Whack! Introductory boss! Of course, it's a boss that's most easily defeated at long range, or it can't counter. We'll just run up and hit it, because why not? <laughs> that was easy. Do, 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 do. Two magic experience, 18, and now... You get a bunch of extra stuff. So if you have two people, I think you get a bonus or. You will rue the day! Rue! Take your little escape ship and get the hell out of here, you little pansy. What kind of what kind of man does sacrifice his ship and his man run away from the fight? No, he was a coward. He was a coward. With me. I wonder where she's from. Interesting. I mean, I've having beaten this game a multitude of times. Up and we are Aboard the Albatross. Uh, thank you, I guess. <laughs> Eka, Vice, and Fina. <clears throat> That's a great name. I don't know what that means, but whatever. Ha 
What is an air air pirate? You know what air pirates are? There you go. Blue rogues. It's the black pirates you gotta worry about. Merchant vessels and unarmed ships. But we blue rogues only beat the shit out of people who can defend themselves and then steal their crap. Which I sure. Get your ass up to the bridge. And it's gunpowder. I'm up. Actually, these do look, these, you know, pretty crisp for being a Dreamcast game turned to GameCube game. So. Oh, impressive. This captain got it. Briggs. speed to pirate isle so here's where the first here's where things get kind of the first real exploration of the world let's do it i don't know where i'm going south from here past sounds so there is nothing but floating landmass oh what do we got pirate's grave you know it's an unknown blue rogue the wind, but the first letter D can still be made out. Nobody remembers who that's here. Maybe for the discovery? That's right! As you explore around, you can catch fish, find treasure, find things like that, <clears throat> as you explore the overworld. Pretty cool. Um, chair. Um, um, get that red red. That's how you fish in this game. Um, there's no land. Well, what land is there? There is his, uh, and random encounters. It's floating islands. Everything else is just a gray. Cloudless. Did she learn Pyrie? So Pyrie is a single target as a multi-target spell. Fire damage, obviously. So. Those guys are blue, and that guy is silver. Now, these guys give a lot of experience and magic points, I think. Mm. 
change it over and see if it does a little bit more damage. <clears throat> no, not at all. Banking on Aka to finish that guy off, and I was wrong. Hmm. Peek there. Sorry about that. Better just bank on it. Of course, these guys, I think blue is strong against fire and weak against lightning. Everyone, every element has a weakness. <laughs> in the weakness wheel, obviously. And another level up. E. Okay. close to the next level of red, but we got some green points. So, down here... Excuse me. Get my drink home. I remember. Nope. Thought... Hmm. I thought there was a thing that I could find there. <clears throat> I thought I remembered there being. So. No, I have enough action points to cast magic. So what I will do... You know, I'm going to use the electric box. And electric is a line. Let's see how well that works. <clears throat> Okay, whopped him. Hit nothing else, though. With the electric box, you can actually use multiple times. It will break. Let's run a risk of breaking. Yeah, I better run a healing spell. I forgot to use the moonberry. Do that next. Purple means I think that they're defending. Yep. Counter. Well, that one level made all the difference in terms of dealing with that damage. go up and down so much to start. After a while, you'll be able to... Uh... So, we have magic, we have super moves. And, <clears throat> you can learn super moves from moonberries. Countering all physical attack enemy attacks for a full turn. Or, we get one for Aka. Vortex. Alpha Storm! I think hers starts off at like four. Well, look at that. That looks like some kind of island for pirates. Try and kill this looper. They have high evasion. 
it, you miss them more often than you don't. Um, at the very end of the game, there is a black looper that is worth a bucket of experience and uh, sometimes drops moonberries and other things. Wow. And I think I think I can hit them all by doing that one. But if I didn't pay attention, I would choose a different one. And I didn't. So now that one acts in a you can see it sort of has that vortexy thing. Some damage. That's a lot of freaking damage. But they take enough damage to get killed anyway. So. That was a tough fight. Went from, huh, that was easy to, that was a tough fight. Pretty quick. But I at least learned a green spell. We're right here, so let's land. Whee! Yep, there's no ground. Just these floating islands. That's where people are sometimes. What happened to the ground, you ask? Well, that's a story we find out later. <clears throat> hey, how are you feeling? Kind of neat. Um, like I was going to mention before, this was a Dreamcast game that has been ported forward and added a couple extra things into the uh, um, <clears throat> GameCube. Much like Grandia 2. Is that it? Maybe something else. Oh look, he's smiling. Just open up a giant hole in the side. Fly our ship into the hole in the side of the mountain. Dude, spazzing out with flags. Ah! No, I mean, I get it. Signals. I've got that space on the side since it's running in not widescreen mode. And I think I like it not in the widescreen mode. I think I like it better in the 4 3. Just because it. One, I don't have to add any widescreen textures. But. Um, it's me these nice bars, and I can fill with things. Fire! 
Been muted the whole time because I'm an idiot. Sorry. You see me picking my teeth because I just had dental work done. And it feels weird. So. Bring that Phoenix girl to talk to me. When you answer my questions. Never seen anyone with clothes like that. Listen. Huh? I'll say. Believe me, I won't kill anybody. Oh, he's a softy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, now we can explore. How's it again? I'll be right back. <clears throat> Alright. Dead Life Gaming, where there's nothing but constant interruptions of recorded gameplay. And poor commentary. From a dad who has long since forgotten. How to, uh... Hmm? Upstairs. Come here. Gosh, bless it. An armor shop. Buy and sell weapons. Yes, I will take one of those. Now, keep it green. Keep it green. Nothing. And Ooh, just enough. Can 
able to be in things I can get here. In the back. Oh. Round up again. Some of the dungeons in this game are really cool. Some of them really you're like eh. Trying not to fill the silence with actual fill the silence with some actual commentary, but. I remember I had a buddy, and he was a big Dreamcast guy. This was one of the first game, like one of the first games I remember seeing for this. You know, our big RPGs. And, uh, I was, of course, the first one I saw was the final battle of the game, which was dope to gas, but. All right, to perv or not to perv, that is the question. You can, in fact, perv on, Nika. Pickled turnips. Those are... Pickled turnip garden. What's this? What's underneath it? Okay. I'm not doing that again. That's her own house. So, as you look out over the void, you're literally on an island floating in the air. Clouds. Hence the sky of Arcadia, I suppose. This is, yeah, this is secret. Yeah, I went all the way around the island already. Yeah. That's where I came out of. Anyhow. Be in his room because he's all wet. He's been outside and it's all snowing and gross outside. Oh, here we are climbing forever up. Oh. 
There's a thing up here, I think. I don't remember. slide down thing where you just like do the Spider-Man slide down the giant ladder. I mean I guess they really just wanted to have this extra space on this extra island. But they just built a giant ladder. Kids, dog. You got everything. Mm, I haven't gone out there yet. Solid ground. Fourth name P. This is stat. Spirit. So as your spirit increases, the spirit bar which is, increases by that amount every turn. And near the end of the game, you can. Like, for right now, we have to like grind out crowns until we can launch our powerful pack. But later on in the game, you get like seven or eight around. Just going to fixing her hair. And the sunset outside. We will just not say anything about the peeping incident, I believe. That's Vice's room. Where do his parents sleep? Right here. Right next to the kitchen. Whatever. Climb all the way to the top again. That thing seems important, but whatever that is flipping around that glowy orb. Well, that sunburst effect seems pretty grainy. Can't really fix that, I suppose.
Kind of close. Huh? Oh no! Wait. A moonstone. A moonstone. Shrine Island. from the moons. Crash land on the islands. They're really powerful source of energy. The moonstones <clears throat> are what you collect of different colors will allow you to change your weapon. There are six moons. Each moon has a name. I can't tell you what they are because I don't remember what they are. <clears throat> Let's go to Shrine Island to go get stuff. Dinner, yay! I might be tapping through it too quick. Yeah, but let's be honest. Let's just rattle. Ominous. Ominous moon! Shrine Island today, right? Yeah, give me a second. Jesus, I just got up. Important. You get a to go lunch. Purple Moonstone. I knew there was something else I was missing. I don't want that too. Map. Map helpful. I didn't. And. Counter Strike. Pretty good. Counter Strike's okay. Ah! You get to the one later on that's like. Gold shield or something like that? That one's really good. There's my temporary ship. No way. Thank you. 
No, I didn't go in here yet. It didn't do anything for me. Already learned. Thank you. Depart for Sean Island. Try you. <laughs> Tron Island's haunted, you know. My tiny little boat. Purple. Huh. You also notice the weapons change. Another neat little thing that was not at all common in old style RPGs was when you got a new weapon, the weapon actually would change, the bottle would change. Huh. Huh. Run away. No experience for me. Huh. That, that was, was easy. easy. Here. Must have been. Yeah, there it is. It's right there. Yeah, that doesn't look ominous at all. Uh, nope. Some giant sucking a hole in the ground in the clouds. Yeah, whatever. Always been there. Monsters. Got it. Big moonstones rare. Temple full monsters. Got it. We're gonna save. Do 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 do. Perfect. You know what? We've been at this for an hour, five minutes. I think now's a good time to call it good. Uh, thank you for watching episode one of Skies of Arcadia, live gaming style. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. I mean, this takes me back. I don't know. Hopefully we get through the whole thing. But <clears throat> if not, we'll, well, we'll see how far we get. See if it's even liked. But thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Let me know in the comments. And I will catch you next time on Dad Life Gaming.